side markers again for my new Jeep Gladiator. Well, good morning everybody. How are you today? Pretty good here, and that's right. Today, I'm gonna to be putting clear side markers on my new, well, new to me, Jeep Gladiator. Now, I had done this on the Gobi, so it'll be interesting to see if it's the same kind of install. I suspect it should be. Uh, but what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna replace these amber side markers uh, because, kind of like Chrome, I'm not a huge amber fan. Although it doesn't bother me quite as much as the Chrome does, right? So, let me show you what I've got here. Again, these came off of the Gobi. Um, they're from Diode Dynamics, you guys can see, are right here. And they are for the 2018 Plus um, Jeep JL Wrangler. And they fit the JT, of course, as well, um, because I've had them on. This is what they look like. Um, they are clear. Now, in comparing those, I had mentioned with the other truck, uh, the design is a little bit different then the uh, the lens that's on the front, you can see it's more of a diamond versus a cross or a line shape, I guess. However, it is the same as what is on there now. So we're not drastically changing the appearance as far as the, I guess, the design or the patterning of the diamond inside. So I am going to set you guys up on a tripod and we're going to go ahead and get those on one other thing i want to mention been doing a little decorating here in the garage right you guys may have noticed in some of the background but we have uh, a couple of jeep gladiators run right here and then the other one right up here just little matchbox cars and then i actually found a uh, die cast model right there at uh walmart's so Pretty cool, just some little touches in the garage. I think they're kind of neat. You guys do that? Do you like those kind of things? Little matchbox cars and the die cast? Let me know. All you're gonna need for this is a pry tool to get a couple of push pins out. I'll show you where they are. And then a T30 Torx bit screwdriver. And there's not a lot of room in there. That's why I'm using a screwdriver as opposed to a bit or a uh, socket, I guess. A socket would have been easier to use, but uh, there's not enough room for it on the end of the ratchet. So, as far as the push pins, as I mentioned, there are two because we're going to pull back the liner just a little bit to gain access to a screw that holds this thing in as well as the wiring behind it. Um, there's one push pin right here, and then there's another one, and it's hard to show, right up here, kind of right above where this one is, right there right up here in a little indentation um, so it's about right here even where this little rivet is on the outside or the inner lip if you will of the fender so i'm going to go ahead pop those out and then i'll use something i'll show you that to kind of hold the inner fender out of the way so we can gain access to that screw okay i'm not sure how well you're going to be able to see but right there, you'll see a uh, on the right of the lower, not the upper, there's a bolt right up there. It's the one inside down there where that little kind of elbow looking like crook is in the plastic piece there. That is the Torx bit screw that you want to remove. So I'm going to go ahead and do that. And then we should have a free um, reflector. All right, I've got it loose. You can see the screw right there. That's the screw that we've loosened. Um, it does screw in right here um, into the edge of the reflector. So we've got that free. Up in here, the wire, you can follow it. Uh, let's see, it's up above, right up there. Not sure if you can see it. It's up here. That's where the connector is. They don't leave you a whole lot of room in here to work but the connector is right up towards the end of that wire uh, we have to unplug that so i'll do that next all right we've got it out it's just held on by one of these little friction connectors if you guys can see it or not stupid camera to focus stupid camera but 
there is the connector. It's just held on, like I said, by one of these little friction type connectors. Kind of a pain to get off, uh, but I did. It only took me about 15 minutes. <laughs> Let's go ahead and grab the uh, replacement down there and put it in. I got one side done. It took longer than it should have. It probably took me about half an hour, about half an hour I'd say, to do one side. Only because of that little wire. Um, but, or connector I should say, but this is what it looks like. Um, pretty good. I love the look again. Just getting rid of that amber stuff on the sides. That's what it looks like without the amber that is. And there's the old one. This is what it looks like with. So now I am going to go ahead and do the other side. It's the same process so I'm not going to film that. We'll come back on. I'll turn the lights on. You guys can see what it looks like. We are done. Both sides are done. There's the passenger side. There's the driver's side. Let's go ahead, flip the lights on, let you guys see oh, what it looks like. There is the driver's side. You can see nice, lovely, amber compliant light. Go over here to the passenger side. Nice amber compliant light. Looks awesome, I think. Again, I'm not a huge chrome or amber fan. And this was a good way for me to get rid of the amber on the sides and still remain compliant with the man. I think it looks pretty good. There's a shot from the front. Kind of get a little angular shot there. I think it looks awesome. Um, just a simple little mod. Doesn't cost a fortune and won't take you too long to do. I will say that uh, the driver's side, the second side I did was a heck of a lot quicker. Um, to get that little connection off in there, um, unless you have gigantically large hands, you can turn the little connector so that you can get a little screwdriver in the slot and kind of pop it up. That makes it much easier to get out. Uh, I would say getting it off without doing that is probably almost impossible. Uh, so anyway, that's my little uh, amber mod for the second time um, on my new Jeep Gladiator. Leave a comment, let me know what you think. Does amber bother you or you just don't care? I'd be curious to know. Also, real quick, if you're interested, I have two other channels. Rob Motive, all about my 2020 Toyota Tacoma. And Rob Motive Civic, Civic about my adventures with the Honda Civic Sport S and the Honda Civic Type R. Check them out. If you're interested, why the heck not subscribe? Don't forget to click that notification bell so that you don't miss out on any upcoming videos. And do me a favor, smash that subscribe button on the way out. Thanks for watching. Stay safe out there. Bye.